Okay, here we are with the unboxing of the CB100 from Wakera. Bought this from Wakera of America, 119 including shipping, which is a good deal. I advise you guys to check it out. It comes well packed. By the way, Wakera of America offers no warranties, no returns, and you better know how to fix them because they offer no support whatsoever. Into a total, because California tax of $132. Let's see what we've got here. Passes inspection. Well packed, no problem with it. This is the second chopper I've bought from uh, Walker of America. This guy here is a little palm size. Now she be pretty much all metal. Five degree fly bar and shortly we'll be doing a flight test of this puppy dual brushlesses and hopefully we won't wreck it on our first flight have to find some landing gear so there she is I'm happy with that Sorry about the light in here. I'm filming from the 1970s. So, excuse me. Part two will be the flight test. Okay, we're going to try this again with a little different lighting. In a little different position. Maybe we'll be able to see it this time. It'll be deep. The Wakera CB100 from Wakera America. Let's see if we can keep it in the camera. Huh, I can't see the screen either. Flat from the screen? No way. <laughs> nope. Ain't gonna happen. Yes, I did. We all have to write down that information that she left, and uh, then I can delete the message. And uh, I well, call that almost landed bank. on the box, but I got distracted. Call that up to a bank and talk to Stop the video. Okay, here we go. Test flight of the CB100. First test flight. Let's see if it truly flies out of the box, off of the box. One little problem I noticed is the, uh, the little foot legs here catch on the carpet really bad and any touching of the carpet just snags it instantly. I think it's just these little things here catch on the fibers of the carpet. And you can see fibers of the carpet stuck on here. So here we go. Let's try this puppy out and see if it fires up. Battery connector is a pain in the butt. Always turn on the radio first. There we go. Now we'll do this little checkup thing. See if I can keep from crashing on the first flight. Here we go. It's all trimmed up and ready, I hope. Out of the box. Oh yeah, real good.
Oh, how fun. Whoa. Oh, how fun. This is great. Whoa. Move the tail a little bit and she takes a dip. Whoa. <laughs> I think it'll come out too good. I want to see. Make this real short. Because the low light situation here. We live in the 1970s. So it's the dark ages. Oh, how fun. This thing flies great. Whoa. See how the movie worked out. Okay, this is going to be a test flight of the Walker CB100. Okay, dogs, watch out. Always turn on your radio first. Get back, dogs. Come on, dogs, take off. Get back. Get back. Go. Oh. Okay. It's hard to uh, do a pirouette without. Oh! Slight drive. Slight wipe out. I think it did more damage to the roof than it did to the helicopter. I don't know how much I kept in frame. Kind of hard to follow it around like this. Oh man, keep it in there. Back here, right. You were saying you couldn't do a pirouette because why? Because it uh, changes its altitude too much. See? Okay. It's uh, having a hard time with the speed control. It's up and down too Gold much. Gold dish and dark dish and one. I'm having a hard time regulating its speed here. Let me try that again. It's like it reacts much slower than I do. Ah! So when it does that, I just cut the throttle. I don't know if I should do that. Second time I hit the roof. Okay, one more go. Alright, let's make this a good one. Yeah, I'm good crash, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time regulating the throttle. And when I do, like I said, when I do a pirouette, the throttle moves real easily. I'm moving in the light over there. But you can see how durable it is. Look, see, it's stuck to the carpet. You're foul. 
Now I gave it the uh, whoop test pretty much. Last focus, dude. So nice. <laughs> yeah, this is autofocus. Where's the autofocus? Oh, it's on manual. Huh? 